Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today in this new and different video. I bet you already noticed we're not in our usual set. I'm actually in the streets of my city, Barranquilla. And in this two part video, I'm going to teach you how to order food like a Colombian while doing so. <laughs> so I'm going to go to a restaurant and I'm going to show you the whole process how do you order drinks, how do you order food, um, and everything. So let's do it. Okay, so we are in an informal restaurant. This is a shrimp restaurant. And we do not have to ask for a table or anything here. I can just choose a table and sit whenever I feel, whatever I feel comfortable. Alrighty, so we're at a table inside of the restaurant. I thought it was prettier than outside. <laughs> now in the good old days, we used to ask for the menu. We used to call the waiter or waitress, el mesero o la mesera. And we used to ask for the menu. Antes pedíamos la carta. But now since the pandemic, uh, this is the way that we get the menu. We have to scan a QR code in the in our phones so we can actually see what the menu offers and make our orders. I don't know if this is happening in the rest of the world, but this is how it is now here and I don't think we're going back to menus anymore. So let's scan our code. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Gracias. Sí, por favor, no vi, no vi las bebidas en el menú. ¿Cómo que le gusta el tomate? ¿Tenemos bebidas alcohólicas o bebidas alcohólicas? Este... ¿Tiene cervezas? Tengo Aguila Life de Colombia con cervezas nacionales. Y tengo importada, tengo Corona, Génica y Estela. Ah, ¿Cómo tienes la Estela? La Estela, dos cervezas. Este, dale, me traes una Estela. ¿Tú quieres una? ¿Dónde? Dos Estelas. ¿Michelada o nomás? Michelada, por favor. Son super bien. Listo, gracias. Bueno, acabo de ordenar unas cervezas for me and my beautiful producer right there. <laughs> and now it's time to make the order. ¿Qué sería algo de comer? Este sí. Si. Por favor, ¿qué me sugieres? Tengo un rico tomate para la camarada en un plato de huevo que lo aparece en una casa. Estamos preparando para la nueva carne. Eh, un risotto a base de champiñones con crema de leche y que viene acompañado con camarón, langostino, calamares, puntos y trozos de pescado. Un excelente para para dar. Qué rico. <risa> bueno, yo estaba pensando en algo más pequeño como una entrada. Una entrada eh. de la boca de relleno, de media boca de relleno con camarones, palomitos y langostino. Viene coronado con un trozo de pescado de este y para abajo. Dale, necesito un momento más para decidir. Dale, gracias. Amigo, este, me traes por favor un cóctel de camarón grande. ¿Cóctel de camarón grande? Sí. ¿Todo eso? Eh, sí, hasta ahora. Gracias. So I ordered a Stella. Um, this is my favorite non-craft beer. You remember I said it was Michelada. That's how we call when you add lemon and salt uh, around the glass. So here in Barranquilla, we call the beer Fria. However, in the rest of the country, you may hear they call it Pola. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, 
so we ordered a shrimp cocktail. Um, it's, it's called Pez de Camarón. It's one of my favorite dishes. It's one of my platos favoritos. Um, this is a cocktail prepared with shrimps, um, onion, camarones, cebollas, and cocktail sauce. It's delicious. It's a bit spicy sometimes. And the preparation varies depending on where you are. Bueno, vamos a ver qué tal. This girl. Baby, toma un poco. <laughs> toma un poco. <laughs> Está buenísimo, nena. Todo estuvo delicioso, muchas gracias. Hola. Bien, gracias. ¿Puedo ayudar algo? Este, pregúntame por qué. Eh, sí, ¿qué más tienes? En esta vuelta tengo un lado y sufrieron y medio. Tengo un poste especial acá de la casa, a base de crema de leche. ¿Y qué tal? Excelente. Dale, Vamos. tráelo. <risa> Gracias. Espero que disfrutes también eso. Gracias, se ve delicioso. It looks amazing. I hope you have enjoyed watching me go to a restaurant and seeing a little piece of my culture. Now for the second part of this video, I'm going to show you Colombian dishes you can't miss if you come visit. Empanadas. Empanadas are small sized fried snacks that are typically stuffed with minced beef and cubed potatoes, also with chicken and cheese. They come encased in a cornmeal dotty bread though a few places offer baked versions as well. Many other var varieties of empanadas can be found in Colombia now, including vegetarian or with different sausages. And to spice up your empanada, you can top it with the sauce of your preference. You can choose between ají, tartara, mayonesa, salsa de ajo, suero, among others. Empanadas are widely available everywhere, particularly from sellers in the street, but also you can find them in like small stands in malls. Um, the slang word for fried snacks like this one is Fritos, which is fried in plural. Patacones. Patacones are made of fried and flattened plantain, green plantain. They are fried twice, and they are typically accompanied of ogao, a sauce made with tomatoes and onions. That's the traditional preparation, but you can eat patacones with anything. You can top them with meat, chicken, cheese, shrimps, avocado, anything. <laughs> Tamales. Tamales are corn uh, rice are from corn or from rice cakes uh, that, are, that are made in Colombia with a wrapping plantain tree leaf and steamed. In Colombia, tamales can be filled with everything from chicken, pork, rice, potatoes, peas, carrots, corn, and cheeses. Tamales in Colombia can vary in shapes and fillings in each region. Some well-known variations are from Bogotá, Cúcuta, or Bucaramanga, Tolima, and Valle del Cauca. For example, the tamales tolimenses, which are from the Tolima region, are filled with pork, chicken, rice, potatoes, peas, and variations of spices. La bandeja paisa. Paisa is a term we use to call Colombians from Antioquia, Caldas, Risaralda, y Quindío. You have probably heard of the Colombian city Medellín. Paisas is how we call its citizens. This dish is typical all over the country and it includes white rice, arroz blanco, red beans, saragosas, plantain, patacones, chorizo sausage, corn, maize, pork crackling, chicharron, fried egg, huevo, huevo frito, arepa, and avocado, aguacate. The ingredients may vary depending on the city or the restaurant by adding or removing ingredients. Mojarra frita. 
This is a type of fried fish that comes accompanied with coconut rice, arroz de coco, fried plantain, patacones otra vez, <laughs> and salad, ensalada. You can add a lemon to your fish to make it tastier. This is generally a lunch dish and it's very common in Colombia to eat lunch with soup so they will give you a fish soup, sopa de pescado, with your dish. You're supposed to eat it first, but if I'm honest, I usually eat the soup afterwards just to make sure I don't get full with the soup and in the beginning and, it can, and I can eat my dish. Nothing better than going to the beach and having this for lunch in front of the sea. Ajiaco. Ajiaco is a traditional soup made of chicken and potato. It's typically served with corn on the cob, chopped avocado, capers, and sour cream. This soup is one of the most representative dishes in Colombia. It's very traditional. By the way, the word in Spanish for soup is sopa. Arepas. Arepas are stuffed cornmeal cakes that are crispy outside and fluffy inside. There is sort of... A popular discussion about if arepas um, are from Colombia or from Venezuela. They're a popular food item for the street vendors but are also regularly made in homes. Arepas are eaten at all times of the day. Okay guys and that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video that was a little different. Do let me know in the comments what did you think of this. I want you to um, let me know if you understood the accent of the waiter that was uh, serving me at the restaurant or what did you notice at the restaurant that called your attention or let me know if you have tried any of the food choices I just suggested. As always, do not forget to show your love through the like button, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when we um, post new videos. Thank you very much for all your love and support and see you next time. Bye-bye.